Uh, you also get confused by the, all the blips on your SRV radar, stay tuned, because today I'm going to show you how you can use them to locate objects on a planet's surface. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy and to Elite Dangerous. Today we are on a planet surface and I'm going to show you how this radar that you have in your SRV works because it can actually be a little bit confusing but once you get your head around it it's actually pretty simple. Now we can see here I parked um, on a planet and we're getting a lot of small, um, small blips and this is a signal that your radar is picking up. Um, so let's start to drive in uh, in this general direction through uh, towards this uh, the signal here, and we can notice that there are several things happening here. We have like a huge signal out here to uh, to the left, and then we have like a very spread out, very long signal. You can see it's it begins. It almost fills the whole radar red right now. It's very spread out, and the the wider the signal is, the further away the object is. Um. So as you can see here, as I begin to move closer to the object in the, the direction, the signal gets stronger and it also gets narrower. So it gets um, it's more zoned in towards the direction you need to go. And we're just going to keep going here. Look at that house. The, whoops. Way to go. Hitting a rock. Very bumpy surface here. Um, but as we um, move closer and closer, we'll see that it slowly begins to get narrower and narrower. And we're just gonna speed up here so we can get over there a little faster. See, now it's getting very narrow. So now, whoops, there we go. Pretty close now. So let's see where is the signal. Oh, there it is. Right in front of us. It's very narrow now, so we should be very close. There, there it is. And there's a. Uh, a small surface rock that you can shoot and then uh, pick up the materials. Oh, actually, I need the I need cadmium. That's actually why I'm here. So now you can just take your cargo scoop and and pick up the uh, the object. Okay, but there are more things happening to the radar than just um, knowing the direction and the distance. You can also see the size of the object because, as you saw with the the, the one before, for instance, if I look over at the signal here. Hmm. Looks like there's a signal in approximately this direction. Notice that all the blips are at the bottom of the radar. That means it's a small object. And the further the signals are towards the top, um, the more likely that it's a large object. And I thought I saw some, something over here somewhere. There's some light I'm getting a little bit of a, of a blip in this direction. You can see I'm getting a few blips at the top of the radar. That could indicate a larger object. Um, so let's try to move in this direction and see if we can find anything. Okay, I've moved a little closer. Now we can really begin to see the signal unfold here. Whoa. Especially if I keep driving in the right direction. So notice here we have a huge signal here. It's still very wide. So that means that we're still quite far away. But all the blips are at the top of our screen. Which indicates that this is a larger sized object. So we're going to keep moving. And I can see something up there in the distance. And that might actually be it. But let's keep going. Let's not go visual just yet. Let's just keep using the radar. We can still see the signal is getting smaller and smaller. So we are getting closer. We can see we also have a signal. This is actually a very good uh, indication. Here you can really see the difference between a small signal and a large signal. So to the, um, to the left on the radar, there is a small object that's fairly far away. And uh, to the right on the radar, we have a larger object because it's further away. That's a little bit closer. So let's go towards this larger object. We can actually see it pretty clearly now because luckily this planet is pretty flat. So the larger object can probably be spotted um, at a decent distance. But let's go over and see what it is. And that's pretty much it. Um, that is how the uh, the scanner works. But we're still going to move towards this just to make sure that... Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, hello. Let's just scan it as a data point. I hope the skimmer does not get mad at me. It looks like a crashed satellite or something. And you could shoot the skimmer if you wanted to. There's a trespass zone around it. Um, that's really up to you what you want to do. Um, you can explore that for yourself if you want to. 
See, I thought I saw a point, but that was that the skimmer? Yeah, that was the skimmer. Okay, so it's just a data point that you can scan. But anyway, um, I'm just gonna take one last signal here, so you can see. Again here we can see we have a signal, small signal source here. Also, small signal in the radar right in front of us. Um, it looks pretty strong, and it's not that far away, so let's uh, get over there as well. And this is how we can navigate around the surface and find rocks. Oh, this, oh, hold on. Whoa. Wow, okay, I'm not a very good SRV driver. As this, It looks like there are two different signals. If you look at that, there's one of them that's a little bit closer. Should be you can see there's like a small notch inside it. That could mean that there are two signals that are overlapping. So if we drive in this direction. Oh, and there we are. Each are right. And there's more cadmium. Wonderful. So let's pick that up. And again, I think you got the point by now. So there we go. The closer the object are to the bottom of the radar, the smaller they are, the further they are towards the top. Um, the bigger they are. Um, anyway, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give the video a like down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys in space.